Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's for breakfast? You've had your breakfast. Huh? When? 7.07 a.m. Yes, we're kind of off schedule. What are you gawking at? You. You look nice. Oh. Hope I haven't upset your routine here. Just stick to the schedule, that's all I ask. Rather nice having a high type, clean cut, nice young fellow at table. Better than nobody. I'm used to nobody. You ought to have some high times here, Joe. Young fellas don't come a dime a dozen in Washington. Eight girls to every fellow. Yeah, well, I haven't got time for that. I'm only going to be in Washington only a week. Where are you going to? Where you came from? Where they send me. Who's they? The government. Oh. Too bad you're not going to be here regular. One less fellow for the girls to look at. Like I told you, eight girls. Yeah, well, you're wasting your conversation. I'm not interested. Yes, but the girls are, eh, hey, Miss Milliken? Those that haven't any men friends are, I suppose, but in the case of a girl who's engaged to be married... Engaged? You? Mr. Pendergast and I expect to be married in the very near future. Pendergast? Charles J. Pendergast. Who's he? Hasn't he got something to do with the housing plan? He most certainly has. He just happens to be the assistant regional coordinator of OPL, that's all. Is that good or bad? $8,600 a year. That's good. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, he's the youngest man ever to occupy the position of regional coordinator of OPL. How old is he? Only 42. 42? Only 42. 42 is a very safe, sane age. When a man has reached 42, he knows something, like Mr. Pendergast. He's an important man. How long have you been engaged? Two years, I bet. <sighs> 22 months. It's a long time for a girl to stick to one guy. That depends on whether she's engaged to be married or just engaged. Why did you wait so long? Mr. Pendergast and I felt it would be an unwise step to take in these times with world conditions so unsettled. World conditions are so unsettled, Miss Milliken, because people won't settle on things. They ought to stop pondering and push ahead. Damn the torpedoes! Full speed ahead! That's what Admiral Farragut says. Yeah. That was a Mobile Bay. You said you... that yesterday, Mr. Dingle. And I meant it yesterday, Miss Milliken. Mr. Pendergast and I don't need your advice. What did you say his first name was? Charles J. Well, don't you ever call him by it? Like Charlie or Chuck or something? Call Mr. Pendergast Charlie. Sure, why not? Of course, you don't realize that Mr. Pendergast is the type man who has twice been to the White House to dinner. Worst food in Washington. Well, the president? Yes. I'll bet the president's wife calls him by his first name sometimes. You look messy. Huh? Don't you ever brush your hair? Well, I suppose Mr. Pendergast combs his hair every hour on the hour. Mr. Pendergast has no hair. 